We've been talking about angles, and today I want to talk to you about how we can measure angles. This material is called a Montessori protractor, and a protractor is a tool that we can use to measure angles. And you can see that we've got little divisions around this circle. Uh, and they're measured. They're, you know, we can count by 20s all the way around. And a full circle is 360 degrees. Now we get this measurement actually from a group of people that lived mm, about 4,000 years ago called the Babylonians. Now the Babylonians studied lots of things, but one thing they watched really carefully was the night sky. And they looked at the stars and they kept track of where the stars were in the sky uh, every night. And they saw that the stars moved in almost a circle and it took the stars about 360 days to make a full trip around the circle of the sky that they could see. So they saw that about every 360 days, the night sky would look the same as it had 360 days before. Now, we now know that it is the Earth that's moving, not the stars. And we also know that it takes 365 and a quarter days for the Earth to complete its revolution around the sun. But we still use that measurement of 360 degrees for a circle that we got from the Babylonians watching the sky and how it changed day by day. Each of these little lines is called a degree and we have a symbol for that. So this is our symbol for a degree and it's a little circle. Isn't that interesting? It's a circle. If we want to write our 360 degrees, we write it just like this. So today we can use this Montessori protractor and some of our fraction pieces as angles that we can measure. So let me show you how, you, how we can do that. If we take a fraction piece and we place it inside and we line up one side of that of our angle along that zero line then this side is pointing to the measurement. We've measured the, the amplitude, we've measured the angle. And this angle measures 120 degrees. Let's trace our angle so we can really see that. Here's our angle, and we measured this angle, and it was 120 degrees. Should we measure some more angles and trace them and write down their measurements? We could make an entire booklet of angles that we've measured. 